Well, hello there. Something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm using a handheld camera, so that there's going to be a bit of movement going on. Um, I've got the stabilisation set to maximum, but that means I can't have uh, 4K. Though it was never 4K anyway, it was just Ultra HD. So I'm stuck with just ordinary HD, so the quality's not going to be there. Um, Also, I've taken an antihistamine pill. The trees. Um, so I may have to lie down on the pavement every now and then. These ones apparently don't affect you. I get a little bit of, sort of something, an effect out of these ones. It's very subtle, but it kind of scrambles my brain a little bit. So lying down may occasionally be the order of the day. Um, Today, in this brief video, I want to talk about or, or demonstrate uh, how here in Glasgow there, there is at times a total um, lack of care, a whole load of apathy and a, a really no desire at times to preserve the, the city's stone-built heritage. I forget the name of the street behind me, but you can perhaps see, I think, a kind of grand old building way in the background there that's kind of laying unoccupied for quite a while now. It's starting to show signs of wear and tear. There's stuff growing on it. Now what I'm going to show you uh, up in the Bridge Street in the Gorbals area of Glasgow is a perfect demonstration of how all this apathy and disinterest and a total lack of building maintenance in the end will kill and destroy a building because what we're about to see is the last, probably the last day of a building uh, tomorrow it's uh, due for demolition. Well, uh, I'm on my way to Bridge Street. It's very windy, so I'm hoping that, that this uh, the sound is going to be uh, hearable. Um, sometimes when I'm wandering around the streets of Glasgow, I, I kind of get the feeling that I'm wandering through the streets of some post-apocalyptic disaster area. You know these sort of films where you see a guy walking down some deserted uh, main street with a dog <laughs> and uh, the plants have taken over all the buildings, all the buildings that line the street are covered in plants because they, they always survive and uh, many of Glasgow's buildings are like that. Behind me is an absolutely stunning old church and uh, it's it's not going to last because I don't know whether, I sense that it's a pure quality sandstone that's very apt to crumble but it's just the building's not going to survive because there's plants growing on it and they will find their way between the stonework, they will displace stone and destroy the building and as I said earlier, that is what we're going to see today in Bridge Street, the destruction of a building because of plant growth. Well, not far from Bridge Street now, uh, maybe a wee bit of shelter from the wind in this wee lane, but the building just on my left uh, with the white uh, facade is one of those. Though it isn't going to last either. It's covered in uh, plant growth in the front and um, it's just it's another neglected and abandoned old Glasgow building that will probably not survive. We just don't seem to care here in Glasgow, you know, compared with Edinburgh where they care for their old buildings. Here in Glasgow we just don't give a monkeys, at least at times that's what it seems like. I, I mean, I, I, I remember doing a, a, a video about Dumbarton a while back and their old building in Dumbarton's Main Street that had just been renovated and yet there was still plant growth in one of the roof gutters. I mean, did, did, during that renovation, did no one think to clean that out? But what's probably worse is that once the job had been done, was there nobody checking that the job had been done properly? Is there no level of control 
that somebody maybe thought, wait a minute, there's plant growth in the roof gutter, that's going to overflow along, it's going to cause water to kind of flow down the front of the building, it will lead to dampness, more plant growth, the building will end up knackered. Of course that's Stumbarton, that's not Glasgow, but I think we have a similar level of kind of lack of care and maintenance in this city. Anyway, we're not far from Bridge Street. Let's go. Well, we're not far from Bridge Street now. Um, you know, behind me is a, a new uh, development in the Tradeston area. Um, and it's a perfect example of how you can use old buildings, uh, repurpose them. Uh, a wonderful old building. I'm hoping you can see it just there. Reused and it's now part of this modern development that's kind of full of uh, reasonable modern buildings. They've got kind of rust and all that kind of carry on. But it's actually a very nice development. Whoever the architect is wants to be congratulated. It's not just that building, there are other buildings here that have been incorporated into the development and they're reusing and repurposing existing structures that add immeasurably. To the, the just the feel of the place. See, this is what we're talking about. It's India Buildings in Bridge Street. Uh, on the screen, it's the building to the left of that blue building. And I think, and I hope, as you can see, it's got trees growing on it. The building is laying unoccupied for, uh, I think, a few decades. I think it used to be a factory. Um, it's just, it's not been maintained, it's just an example of another building that has been deliberately forgotten about, as if we've sort of turned our back on it and hoped that it would go away. And now that building is going away because, because of the plant growth trees. I mean, the, the, the roots of the trees will displace stonework, will find their way between stone, displace it, uh, lead to not just water ingress, but actual movement of the stone. And as a result of that, uh, it, there's been a partial roof collapse. And once that happens, and the, you know, roof trusses generally they hold the walls of a building together. Once the roof goes, it, it just you get, it, there's no stability in the structure, and there has been movement in that structure. That building um, is going to fall down. Uh, before it does so, it's going to be uh, tomorrow. They're going to start demolition, but at the moment they're not. They're just not sure the extent of what they're going to have to demolish. It may not just be India buildings, because when you look at this, the structures behind me on Google Earth, it's a complicated arrangement of buildings. In addition to India buildings, you've got other structures tagged onto it. And when you look at the top of the building on the corner. There's just an awful lot of stuff added on at the top there. It's a very complicated uh, architectural mishmash of bits and bobs. They may have to pull the whole corner down, including in their buildings. They don't actually know yet, but you know, it's just another disgraceful example of Glasgow's apathy. And a total lack of maintenance. Oh, it's somebody else owns it. We can't do anything about it. This Bridge Street is another little bit of the old gorbals that has been allowed to go. It's an absolute disgrace.